Saudi Moja means one voice. Founders Tim Wright and Lynn Bishop have both worked in international development and crisis relief for years. Over the last 16 years, they've connected donors to community projects directed by leaders of indigenous groups, like the Maasai of Kenya and Tanzania. They've helped to foster harmony in areas of conflict through projects like Widows of Peace. Widowed because their husbands have been killed and they're impoverished because their livestock have been stolen in raids. Let's bring them together and say, do you want to be the agents of peace? Uh, we will give you livestock loans. But the way you pay off the loan is to give the offspring to the enemy. And we found women that were willing to do that. Now, it wasn't easy. They came in fear, really. But they said, yes, we want to try this. We want to reconcile. So there was a lot of training and so on and they started exchanging livestock. Then they started going and working with the leaders and the leaders said, these widows are widows of peace, agents of peace. And they started bringing the leaders together. The conflict between the rival groups is historic and so included in the children's education is a peace club. It gives them a voice, um, uh, knowing that they are right to seek peace in their families, in their communities, and expect it from their elders and from the leaders. Uh, we've been in um, meetings where the children themselves, primary children, will get up and ask the leaders uh, to, you know, uh, uh, defend their futures, secure their lives and, and their education by promoting peace. This year, COVID has, of course, added challenges, including vaccination distribution. The drought caused by climate change has caused conflicts to increase. But it's really serious in East Africa, the drought. And uh, we are really struggling to raise money for food for people that are displaced, people that are hungry. And again, we focus on orphans, elderly, uh, single moms, and while we are able to provide food support for maybe about 300 people now almost, it's still going to be a challenge going forward because the big agencies really have not stepped up the plate, probably because there's so many crises in the world, but it's, it's really difficult. Women who have, um, who have suffered in conflict, uh, the children and also uh, the men who have lost livelihoods uh, due to the drought, due to the conflict, uh, creating that uh, desperate situation in their home, um, living with that fear of how they're going to feed their families and seeking ways and, and uh, options. And uh, uh, the programs and the meetings we have is to, to discuss what options there are that, that doesn't require raiding or, or, or killing to, to pursue uh, the interests of feeding their families. It's, it's, it's something that we all need to do. We need to feed our families. And so we're working um, uh, a lot with those young men and, um, and the women. For more information or to donate, go to SaudiMoja.org. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.